Okay, to solve this log equation, um, we only have one log term, so we want to try and isolate that log term. In this case, the equation is already given to us with the log term isolated equal to a constant. So after we isolate the log term, we want to write um, in exponential form. So exponential form would be base 5 raised to the second power equals the argument of x minus 1. So that would be 25 equals x minus 1. I'm going to add 1 to both sides to solve for x. And then remember, we're going to take that number, that value, and put it back in and make sure that it keeps the argument positive. If it makes the original argument in the original equation negative, then it's an extraneous solution. 26 minus 1 is positive 25, so x equals 26 is our answer. Okay, we'll try another one. Here's a similar example, but this time I'm adding 7 to the log term. So I have to undo that add 7 by subtracting 7 from both sides of the equation. And on the left-hand side, we'll have log base 2 of x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, we have equals 3. And now I can take the base, raise it to the exponent, and that's going to equal x plus 1. 2 to the third power is 8. Subtract 1 from both sides. We get x equals 7. When I plug 7 back in for x, 7 plus 1 is a positive 8. It keeps the argument positive, so x equals 7 is our answer. Okay, another one, we have log base 3 of the cubed root of 3x minus 5 equals 1. Our logarithm is already isolated, so I'm going to take the base, raise it to the exponent, and that's going to equal the argument, which is the cubed root of 3x minus 5. That's going to be 3 equals the cubed root of 3x minus 5. And to undo the cubed root, we're going to cube both sides or raise both sides to the third power. 3 to the third power is 27. And the cubed root raised to the third power leaves us just the radicand of 3x minus 5. I add 5 to both sides. Then I divide by 3. And x equals 32 over 3, which is just short of 11. If I take this number and I plug it back in, 3 times 11-ish is 33, minus 5 is positive. The cubed root of a positive number is positive, which is exactly